Hello everybody. So today I'm going to be doing a project called Wrecking Ball and I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to make these and how any household item can be used. So for this experiment um, you're going to need, I'm going to use duct tape, you can use masking tape, scotch tape's okay but you want something that's a little more hardy. Um, you're going to want to use some kind of string. I have twine at my house so that's what I'm going to be using and then a pair of scissors, an orange, or you can use really any size ball, or like you can use an apple or a golf ball or anything like that, but I had this just lying around the house. And then for the straws portion, I'm actually gonna be using colored pencils um, because the straws that I had at the house, um, I only have a few of and we need a lot of them. So I'm gonna use actual colored pencils and then I already filled them with water, but I'm gonna use two glasses. Normally you want them a little taller than this, but this is what I currently have, and I'm gonna show you that it doesn't matter what size of glass you have, it just matters um, that you have two pretty sturdy um, glasses to work with. Uh, let's see, I have uh, six, eight here, and I'm gonna take the duct tape that we had, And I'm gonna cut a little piece of that off. And you can use scissors or rip duct tape off. I'm not that talented, so I have to, <laughs> I have to scissor it off. So then once you have these, you're gonna take your duct tape and you're gonna wrap it all the way around in the middle of them. And I would do this a couple times to make sure that they're completely secured together and they make one sturdy um, section. So I'm gonna do it again a couple more times. I guess that time I did rip it. So with duct tape you probably could just rip it or you could use scissors. It's completely up to you. And again this is just what I had laying around the house. You can use masking tape or you can use um, really any kind of tape you want. So now that I have the tape all wrapped around, um, it's pretty secure. I made quite a few different layers to make sure that, oh gosh, that they didn't come apart. Take the two cups of water here and you're gonna wanna set this right on top of it. So, and then I would move them apart a little bit so it gives you um, a section in the middle that you are able to tie the orange and the string to. So after you've kind of measured it out a little bit, um, I would you just take the tape and you start from one end of the cup and move it directly right over the top of it. And then this is probably where scissors would come in handy only because you don't want to completely knock over the glass of water. It's gonna look kind of funny right now because I haven't taped the other side. Another thing is you don't want it to be too, too tight. So you tie that together, or not tie, tape that together. And then, oops, you're gonna wanna do the same thing on the other side here. So you just tape that together like so, and you can do this quite a few times to make sure that it's as sturdy as you like. Um, you'll notice that with the the thickness of like colored pencils or straws, it actually stays pretty well with like the swinging motion of the ball. So you actually should be okay. I'm more worried about like the ends being covered. Um, either way, um, as long as you put some water in these glasses, you actually should be okay when it comes to the swinging motion, um, that's the part that you wanna be careful of that the uh, glasses of water don't completely knock over. So now this part's kinda tricky. So you're gonna wanna take the string, and again, you can use string twine. I'm using twine just cause I had it in the house. And you wanna hold, so put your finger on one side of it, and you wanna completely cover it a couple times with the twine to make sure that it stays. And then I would even go in the other direction also. Kind of like if you were wrapping a present and you're tying a bow, 
you kind of want it to, you know, look cute. And you can either do it in this part of the step or the next part. I would tape it right now while you kind of have a hold of it and you can, you can let it go. It shouldn't completely unravel. And this is where the duct tape will come in handy once more. Um, you're gonna wanna take a fairly big piece, I would say like four inches or so, and you wanna tape it right over the spot that you started the twine from. So you take the duct tape, and you wrap it real tight around this orange, and then you can tape a couple different spots. Um, like I would also tape the other portion that you wrapped um, the twine around. And this is just to make sure that the rope or like if you've ever seen a wrecking ball, this is to make sure that the chain doesn't fall off. Because the last thing you want is a huge boulder coming at you at full speed. So again, I would tape the top of this, make sure that it's all taped up nice and tight. And now you should be able to go like this without the orange or the twine coming off of it. So if you can kind of bounce it like this and it stays stable, I think this is perfect for your wrecking ball. So then what I would do is you take whatever kind of string you're using and you put it under the glasses that you're working with because you're gonna wanna measure how tall or how low to put the wreck wrecking ball. I'm gonna put it fairly close to the ground, maybe only like a full inch off the ground just because I want it to be able to swing and hit lower objects. You can, if you had taller glasses, put it up really tall and then when you swing it, it can hit like bigger objects, but I'm gonna keep it fairly close to the ground. So what I do is I kind of measure, I would unravel quite a bit just so you have enough to play with. I would just measure about where you want it and then come and pair it together like this. So as of right now, I see a line where my fingers are clasped, where I kind of want to tie it, but I'm going to cut maybe about an inch or two farther to make sure that I have enough to wrap it around the, the straws or whatever you're using. So now I cut where I want it and I'm going to, so first, you're gonna to wanna to do just one knot. Once that's tied, you're gonna to wanna to tie it one more time just to make sure that it's completely secure. Then if you feel like it's still not that secure, you can also tape one more time to make sure that the string doesn't go anywhere. So I would take about two inches of tape and then kinda of just lay it on top and wrap it around one more time. So then, this is not going anywhere. And as you can see, there's enough weight in these two cups where this doesn't go anywhere. And then, when you swing it, and again, I put mine pretty low to the ground because I'm gonna show you why in a second. I wanted to be able to knock over these little guys. So if you put them fairly close, you can, see, you can see that it's kind of like a like a bowling motion. You can completely knock all of them over with just a simple swing. And now you can see how a wrecking ball works. And then again, like I said earlier, if you tie it up much taller, you can knock over bigger objects like this. In fact, let's test it out. It still moves. So this is the wrecking ball experiment. I hope that you guys enjoyed and maybe you can make this yourself. Thanks for watching.